Candlelight Concerts in its original iteration was all about educating the public and generations who maybe did not have the same knowledge about classical music and how it can still be a fun genre to listen to. And so basically in the secondary step of that, we had an initiative to celebrate groups that are often underrepresented and so that's where historic black composers was kind of birthed and we were able to create a program that really shined a light on classical composers that were black and not just Scott Joplin. We've got Samuel Coleridge Taylor and Florence Price, a black woman. And what's beautiful about the program is that we can show a timeline from where black classical music influenced modern day music with our MC and vocalist and he makes the link between the past and the present and performs Quincy Jones and explains how basically Scott Joplin and Florence Price influenced these modern day artists and producers. How y'all doing? I'm your host for the evening. I'm Reigns. I'm going to be talking with you about the pieces. I'm going to be talking with you about the composers and then we're going to give you a small presentation at the end. But first of all, is everybody feeling good? You guys feeling good? All right, here we go. Exploring the classical music of historic black composers gives us an invaluable insight into the changing times of society's treatments of black people throughout history. For example, the limitations placed upon Joseph Boulogne in revolutionary France, or the racism experienced by Florence Price as a young black woman in the Jim Crow South, or also William Grant Still, who was the first majorly accomplished African-American composer. These composers' passion and talent for classical music and unstoppable persistence in the face of adversity cements their voices as true pioneers and trailblazers in each of their respective times. The very first composer that you're gonna hear from is Joseph Boulogne, Chevalier de St. George's. He lived from 1745 to 1799. This is string quartet number five in G minor. So the evening was designed to celebrate composers with African descent. A lot of them were mixed race composers and so it's kind of to make awareness and to make the general public aware that these composers actually existed and made a great contribution to the musical landscape. With Philadelphia being such a music town and it being in its roots, we had to make sure that we celebrated and were able to educate the communities that would come to our shows on other origins of different styles of music. Oftentimes, groups are stereotyped into certain genres, and especially black musicians, they have done every genre. And what we want people to come away with is that feeling of, wow, that was amazing, and now I know that it was so much more than just Mozart and Bach. This is most important to me because I actually was in Afghanistan for the uh, last two, almost two years. So this is amazing. This is one of my like first real night out. This was beautiful. You know, the setting was everything. Dress fancy, finally go out somewhere. From a, a soldier standpoint, I, I felt really good being here. It's so important to have concerts like this. This was a great chance to just really experience something so different, something so beautiful. It just really brings us closer together. It was just so great. It was more than I imagined it would be. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.